All right, so the main important thing I want you guys to understand is um, a lot of times when I was solving for x, um, one of the things, one of the techniques I used to do in algebra one was to circle the variable because basically what we want to do is use inverse operations to undo everything that's happening to the variable. But you guys can see right now this variable, my variable x is being multiplied by four; it's being added by one. Then I'm taking the square root of all of that, and the last uh, last operation is I'm subtracting by five. So there's a lot of things that are going on with that x, correct? So if you guys remember, when we were solving um, absolute value equations, one of the things I told you was to isolate the absolute value sign first. We're going to do the exact same thing with um, radicals. First thing you want to do when you're solving an, an abs a, ra a radical equation is isolate the radical. So Jun Ho was right. First thing you're going to do is add a 5 to both sides. Therefore, I have the square root of 4x plus 1 equals 5. Now I can undo the square root, right? Undo the square root. If you guys remember using our identity element, well, we know that the square root of x to the second power, right, is just x. So therefore, if I want to undo squaring, I can just square <coughs> both sides. Again, we have to still make sure we're using our properties of equality. So now, by doing that, the square root of something squared leaves me with 4x plus 1 equals 25. Now we have an equation that's in a format that hopefully everybody is a little bit more familiar with and comfortable solving for, correct? Is it OK if I just give the answer then? No, no. OK. Everybody cool with that? Now, the next thing I want to do is um, previously, ladies and gentlemen, when we were solving equations, if you guys remember, like, remember like in algebra one, we gave you this equation. We always say, hey, check your answer, check your answer, right? And as long as you did your math work right, but we still wanted, the reason why we wanted you to check your answer was one, to check your math, make sure you're doing your math correctly, and then two, so you understand that the solution of this equation, when you plug it back in, the, the solution makes the equation true, all right? However, for, you only got it wrong if you did your math wrong. Well, what we're going to do now, I need you guys to make sure you're checking your answer because you can still have done your math completely correct and have an answer that is not a solution. All right, Those are what we call extraneous solutions. So for this whole chapter, whenever you have an answer, please make sure you go ahead and check your work. You don't need to write it out, but make sure you mentally at least go and do it. Plug a 6 in here. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 1 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. Answer works. OK, I'll put a check mark in there to show that I have verified it and checked it. If you don't put a check mark in there, then